Now there's a story about a Neanderthal by the name of Sean Anderson Hagen, 30 years old from Charleston, South Carolina. Now this Neanderthal was doing crime in his community, okay? And when the cops went to apprehend him, he decided to run from the police. Now, he didn't get shot in the back for running from the police. That's only set aside for black people to run from the police. So even when they're running away from the cops, white advantage kicks in and the cops just mysteriously don't pick up a gun and shoot them in the back. But the Neanderthal dropped his phone. And when he dropped his phone, the police started to troll him. Now let's put up the messages that the police sent out. Now he says, hi, Sean, you lost your phone while running from the police. Contact Berkeley County Sheriff's Office if you want it back. Then they posted another one. Does anyone know Sean Hagen? Not asking for a friend. We would really like to return his phone. Next time, secure our valuables before running. So they started to troll this guy. Well, long story short, the bunch of tips start coming in about this guy and he was apprehended. They got a Neanderthal off of the streets, which is good. Um, we need to keep the streets clean. You know, law enforcement did a great thing. Uh, he was charged with resisting arrest, dealing meth, and being held on a $61,000 bond. So he was a meth dealer that needs to get off of the street. Now, why is his bail so low if he was dealing meth? He should be having that bond black men get. But that's not going to happen because remember, white advantage. You see, I don't say white privilege because privilege sounds like something that's just lesson for me. I would say advantage. That's why I'm gonna keep using the term white advantage. They have an advantage in society over you based off just off of their color. Because the word white privilege to me is too watered down now. They're not, people hear it, it's like, uh, what them things. But white advantage, yes, we gonna keep saying that in 2019. Now the cops start uh, having a hashtag called don't be like Sean, but there's many Sean's running from the cops every single day. You don't shoot him in the back. Um, and he lives to tell about it. Remember, in a lot of states, um, they have taken meth and heroin off a felony list and put them in misdemeanor possessions because they know a certain demographic is addicted to that. They're not going to give them those football number sentences when they catch them with drugs because remember, jails was meant to enslave black men, not white men, okay? So that's why they changed laws for them. But when have they ever changed a law for us to stop us from getting locked up? The saying about that. Great that the Neanderthal is off the streets. That's awesome. But he'll be back out and you know, he's not gonna get much time for it or anything at all. I remember this one white guy um, that I used to work with, he was dealing meth. The cops caught him with the weight, the gun, and meth. Now usually you go in a long time you caught with all that. No, he got right back out. But that's what happens in this so-called justice system. When you have white advantage, you get a slap on the wrist. When you're black, well, you get football numbers. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this particular video with this Neanderthal. This situation in this country, I'm so glad everything is happening the way it's happening now because I tell people this system has never meant us any good as black people, so why should they have a system that stays intact?